Good evening. Welcome to evening prayer for Holy Comforter Episcopal Church. It is Monday, September 23rd. Our service of evening prayer begins on page 115 of our Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now, as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our pointed psalms for this evening are Psalms 77 and 79, which begin on page 693 of the Book of Common Prayer. I will cry aloud to God. I will cry aloud, and He will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hands were stretched out by night and did not tire. I refuse to be comforted. I think of God. I am restless. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am troubled and I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. I ponder and I search my mind. Will the Lord cast me off forever? Will he no more show his favor? Has his loving kindness come to an end forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? And I said, my grief is this. The right hand of the Most High has lost its power. And I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your acts and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and have declared your power among the peoples. By your strength, you have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The very depths were shaken. The clouds poured out water and skies thundered. 
your arrows flash to and fro. The sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea, and your paths in the great waters. Yet your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. O God, the heathen have come into your inheritance. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of rubble. They have given the bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the air and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beast of the field. They've shed their blood like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We've become a reproach to our neighbors, an object of scorn and derision to those around us. How long will you be angry, O Lord? Will your fury blaze like a fire forever? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen who have not known you, and upon your kingdom that have not called upon your name, for they have devoured Jacob and made his dwelling a ruin. Remember not our past sins, for your compassion be swift to meet us, for we have been bought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let it be known among the heathen and in our sight that you avenge the shedding of your servant's blood. Let the sorrowful sighing of the prisoners come before you and by your great might spare those who are condemned to die. May the revilings with which they reviled you, O Lord, return sevenfold to their bosoms. For we are your people and the sheep of your pasture. We will give you thanks forever and show forth your praise from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the, sec from the book of Luke, in the third chapter, verses 1 through 14. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor over Judea and Herod was ruler over Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Aturia and Trachonitis, and Licinius ruler, ruler over Abilene, during the high priesthood of Ananias and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. 
Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors come to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers, who asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us respond by praying together the Nunc Dimittis, found on page 120. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We'll pray suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth your saving health among the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our collect for today can be found on page 234. 
Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly and even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Returning to page 123 for a Collect for Peace. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and we, being delivered of the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and all men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear God, hear now our prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. And we would offer through the chat for those in attendance. Lord, we offer prayers for Bob, Devin, Amber, We continue to lift the prayers from last week. We lift up Valerie. For those of you who are lifting our prayer needs found in our weekly bulletin, Lord, we lift up Celeste, David, Walter, May, Cynthia, Lee and Bonnie, Herb and Rhonda, Russell, Marcy, Aaron, Charles and Catherine, Sterling, Marcy, Jan, Jackie, Patsy, Eunice, Faye, Melissa, Suzanne, Bill, Nancy, the Newman family, Anna, Emma, Roberta, Diane, Leland, Maria, Susie, Anita, and Robbie. We pray, Lord, for those who have died, particularly. We pray for Roger and Tracy, and we lift up their families. May light perpetual shine among them, O oh Lord. We pray for those serving in the military and in areas of conflict where they serve. We pray particularly for Matthew, Hayden, and Perry. We pray with joy for those that are celebrating birthdays this week. For Cynthia and Duke and Dakota and Katie and Nancy and Bridget and Carolyn and Matthew and Kathy. 
We pray in celebration of the anniversary of the unions of Alpha and Farat and Bobby and Catherine. Lord, we lift up our national church. We thank you for the health and ministry of our bishop, presiding Bishop Michael, and for our bishop-elect Sean. We thank you for a wonderful convention in our diocese this past weekend and for all who attended and served. We thank you for the work especially of our um, assisting bishop, Scott. We pray for Chip, our assisting bishop who could not be in there, and for the help and healing, um, Father, for his wife. Um, we pray for our standing and steering committees, both those who have served and both those who are newly appointed. We pray for our companion parishes in Cuba, St. Michael's and All Angels in Sabellos, and St. James the Apostle in Baruga, Lord, not Impossible Lord, the Apostle, and for their priest, Mother Haiti, and for Father Roberto. We pray, Lord, for our beloved local church, Holy Comforter, for our parishioners, our lay ministers, our vestry, our staff, and our clergy. And Lord, we ask that you just be with us in our upcoming events. We pray for Holy Comforter Episcopal School, for our students and teachers and staff and leadership, particularly for Peter and Amy and Brenda and Michelle. And we pray especially, Lord, for Brooke and Carl, who are celebrating birthdays this week. Lord, we lift up all the houses of faith here in the city of Tallahassee. We lift up their congregations and their clergy and staff. And we lift your church universal. Let us together join in the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.